Oyesa kubangu mwonga meli weli uche kopsuma ukolelwe kwe skwebo sake soktele la inkunda. Dolewe teta kubangu uku ukule kile. Oku kupengezwe li sebele nkonzo zolule kwa kwindi ibano nununda baibi banje lwe pitole la mtlanje kseni. Ikoke lwa mpati so we nkonzo zolule kwa u Ronald Lamula kwenye no mkomishna la we nkonzo zolule kwa umahoti tabakhale. Utabakhala unganile ukuba uzuma uye wabika kwizi kwa lulule kwa lase eskoti kwa zolula tale kseni. Kapamle kwa ukuba kulu lenge mkubwe ketekle yoko lelo kabuni. This morning, Jacob Zuma was given the go-ahead to report back to prison, but after being processed, he was released two hours later. It appears that Jacob Zuma is one of more than 9,000 prisoners who benefited from the remission of sentences announced by President Cyril Ramaphosa to low-risk offenders. During a press conference held this morning, Correctional Services Minister Ronald Lamola and Correctional Services National Commissioner Mahoti Tobahale announced the decision to send the former president back to prison for his two-hour stint. The president has allowed even the former national commissioner and the current national commissioner to deal with the compliance with the law because the president believes and respects the constitution. So it doesn't matter whether is former President Zuma or not. And you will also see we are also not interfering with these court processes that are currently undergoing. Because that also is a process that must be respected and the law must take its course. So the law has taken its course with regards to the former President Zuma. The National Commissioner has taken a decision and that decision was not interfered with, neither did we meddle with it. This process started in April. I approved the, the, the technical work on this process as the National Commission on the, the 2nd of May 2023. That was the first submission that I approved for the technical team to look at the impact of a remission process in addressing overcrowding uh, problems in the correctional system. The team did its work up to a point where we submitted to the highest authority through the end of the, of the, uh, the, the minister. And the highest authority is the president of the country approving um, yesterday. The Supreme Court of Arbitration had ruled that former National Commissioner of Correctional Services Arthur Fraser's release of Zuma on medical parole in September 2001 was illegal. Thus, in accordance with the Supreme Court's ruling, the National Correctional Commissioner made the decision that Zuma must return to prison. In an effort to reduce prison overcrowding, President Ramaphosa has co-currently announced the remission of sentences for 9,488 inmates who are regarded as low risk. Consequently, Zuma is now a free man. For Soweto TV News, I am Zulibanzi Mazibugo.